we're one big family here, including the officers. They come, everybody sits down, they talk at the end of the night, and they just socialize like friends. They don't even look at them like a police officer talking out in the streets. They look at them as another friend or family member. This is a beautiful gym, so congratulations. Are you making money? No, everything is, everybody here volunteers. What we make for money, it goes right back into the gym to pay the bills and to buy any other equipment we need. What do you say in response to the concern that kids that are boxing may get hurt, they may take blows to their head? Everybody wears protective gear when they're in the ring, and aside from that, they just hit in the bags and things like that. They don't really get hurt. Getting aggression out on the bags. They leave all their stress here. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. about your affinity or your love of boxing? When I got into it, mm -hmm. it was at a young age and I was from the projects and I felt good being in the gym by getting some aggression out, uh, having a rough home, you know, and uh, I didn't get in too much into it. I got into a little bit of amateur, not much, and I got out and uh, years, years later, I, I got into it through my daughter again. Uh, she's seen a fight and she watched it and she told me she was interested in, in boxing and I told her, are you serious? She said, yeah, I'm serious. And ever since then, it's been 12 years I've been in boxing. So you trained your daughter in part? Yes, when, I, when she was boxing, I was training my daughter. Sometimes she comes in here and I'll train her once in a while mm -hmm. just to stay a little sharp. And you're here helping a lot of these kids uh, develop boxing skills as an alternative to crime or a way to just simply enjoy life. Yes, uh, they, always, they need a place to go here. And Lawrence uh, is a place that it's rough and uh, not too much recreation, enough mm -hmm. for kids like 18 years old and up. After the boys club, you're like 17, 18 years old, you can't go there no more. Right. So you need something after that. You have to have a place to go and engage in a positive activity. Yes, and this is a city that it really needs it a lot. I, I argued that about that many years now, and, and, and the great thing is four gyms now here in Lawrence instead of uh, none. And um, it's, I, I, it's a slow progress, but it's working. You mm -hmm. know, the, the boxing to me keeps them not only off the streets, it, it, it takes some some stress out of them. It takes, it gives them somewhere to go. They start to learn to socialize and get along with others. You know, it's a, it's a positive place. I'm really appreciating watching in the gym the past days is, uh, or weeks is watching them work with each other, help each other. And if there's days that I'm not feeling too strong that day to work with them, um, I could see them just team up with each other and socialize and it's just very nice. It's very positive, you know. Tell us a little bit about your years on the City of Lawrence Police Force. I've been a police officer in Lawrence for 16 years. Currently I'm assigned as a detective to a uh, safe and secure youth initiative, which is to work with uh, at-risk youth, try to steer them away from the uh, negative things that could occur in their lives. Terrific. Now, do you have a relationship with the gym in which you come in and check on or box with or simply check up on these kids? Lately, it's more, been more of a visiting and checking up, saying hi, things of that nature. Um, I, I was introduced uh, to boxing through the Canal Street Gym. Do you interact with the gym or what other officers are involved with this project? Uh, one of the other officers, one of the trainers here is uh, Radimus Gonzalez. He's here quite often. Uh, he works a lot with the kids in the gym. Um, he works with our own police officers. They do private training sessions. Our officers are always welcomed here. Something the, the gym encourages is interaction between the police mm -hmm. and the youth in the city that do come and train here to kind of weed out any negative type relationship that have existed in the past between the youth and the police and make it positive. And a lot of the um, youth that come here and box interact with the police officers such as Radimus Gonzalez and they see a whole other side to us. We're not just out there arresting people or things of that nature. We're, we're trying to build relationships with the community. The city of Lawrence, like any big city, you know, has certainly difficulties in managing gangs or, or problems or aggressive uh, children. It's an outlet. It gives them something to do. Um, there's not a whole lot to do once they reach a certain age. And the street's not a great place to be no, all the right. time. Um, this place here is the right turn for them. You know, there's a lot of wrong turns they could take, but we, they, there's a bunch of kids in here, good kids. They're here all the time. It makes my job easier. It makes the police officer's job easier when you have 
rather than them hanging in the street late. Yeah. Once they get out of here, they're exhausted. They go I home, bet. they take a shower, yeah. they watch some bed. TV and they're done, <laughs> you know. Um, and that's a positive for them. Yeah. It's a positive for the city. Yeah. And, it, you know, it's, uh, it's something you have to support. How can you not support something like that? A place like this has to be supported. And how about the Martinez's? I mean, they do this for free. They yes. volunteer. It's, it's incredible. You don't hear much about that anymore. You know, they're working hard. They're, they're reaching out to people. They're trying to get people involved. You know, there's, there's all walks of life in here. You know, you have young men, you have professionals that come here, um, you know, lawyers, doctors, a lot of police officers come here. Mm -hmm. They mainly come during the day. There's a small group. But again, Radimus Gonzalez is one of the main trainers. He trains our guys. Um, it's good for us, stress reliever. Mm -hmm. So it works, it works for everybody. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and a leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.